Uh, the concept behind it is to develop autonomous vehicles, which means they drive themselves with no remote control, so there's no human anywhere. So the idea is this would be applied to military settings, and in civilian settings, traffic accidents are the leading cause of death for people under the age of 30, so any improvements in safety that results from this is, is another big application. And the, the sponsoring organization is DARPA, which is the research arm for the Department of Defense. So they give you essentially a road network. Uh, and then on the race day, five minutes before the car leaves, they hand you a memory stick which says, I want you to go to this specific location, then this specific location, then this specific location. And then its brain program has to go figure out for itself how it's going to go get to each waypoint. But the more difficult aspects is obeying traffic laws, not running over pedestrians in the way. Uh, these are all things that are currently hard for a robot to do reliably. And you have to do them for six hours straight challenge. Huh. That's puzzling. Yeah, it's, it's no longer street legal, as you can see. Well, we don't want it on the ground anyway. We want that on the chassis, but well, I'm just saying that matter, just as an it? example. Well, okay, fair enough. It's better for... For what? Because then you, you have no chance of exploding the battery. It's the navigation unit. I know my place, and that's the one thing that... It normally goes into a missile. Yeah. <laughs> oh, aircraft. Aircraft. We just take for granted that, well, you give a computer a camera, it can see like a human does, but it doesn't. It sees them ones and zeros, and that's when we need to actually dumb down a computer. And then we're actually going to have to say, you know what, this is what you're looking at. And um, that's what got me onto it. And if you can use it in an urban environment like we're doing this here, you can actually have the difference between life and death. Like you have a 17-year-old kid that's learning how to drive, and he goes to a bar, he makes a mistake, he shouldn't be punished by dying and taking his girlfriend's life and the family in front of him. But I think a better scenario would be he gets drunk, the car takes him home, he loses his job because he goes to work the next day, his girlfriend makes up with him and that's it. You know, the kids got to touch the fire to know what's hot, but if your baby's going to walk into a fireplace, you're not going to let them do it to understand it's a problem.